Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to the Sebastian Bonet Show. I am Sebastian Bonet. Um, as normal, I am just chilling here in the house with the ironing board in there, so let me slide that out. Anyways, open oh, it's still there. So, uh, as you can see, I'm in full graduation regalia. It is the day after graduation. I graduated yesterday from the largest historically black college and university in the nation, which is the... Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University uh, in the beautiful city of Tallahassee, Florida. I got my, uh, my degree, my Bachelor's of Arts in Theater Performance with a minor in Applied Vocal Performance with concentration in Musical Theater. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm just in the afterglow. You know, you have really good sex and it's really, really good. You're in the afterglow. You're in the awe and you're, you know, your body is quivering and you want a cigarette and that one tear just falls. That's at the moment that I am, I'm still hurting. It was, I got the beat down from the university and they did it real good. And so, I'm in my afterglow. Um, yeah, okay, I'm just being stupid now. But anyways, I just want to do a video to let y'all know. First off, to say thank you for everyone that came out and supported. I didn't really think I was going to have that many cheap people cheering for me. Uh, but really, I did. I think I made an impact around the university. Um... But what I really wanted to do is actually talk to you all um, to encourage other um, African-American gay men to attend college. Statis statistically, I hate that word, statistically, women, uh, the ratio for women to men, African-American men in college is five to one. Five women to one men. Now, if you're straight, that's great. But being that I'm gay, that means we all sleeping with the same person, most likely. But anyway, um, I would encourage you to uh, go to college or get some type of formal education. You know, I understand that college is not for everyone. It wasn't for me at first. My grandmother's a retired professor, um, and it was instilled. It was not, you know, it's an option that you're going to college. No, bitch, you're going. And so when I first graduated in high school, from high school in 1999, I went to uh, Tallahassee Community College, and I was infatuated with being a college student, but not doing the work that it took to be a college student. So needless to say, yeah, baby, I flunked the fuck out. Uh, but I had to have surgery on my leg. And I said, I'm going to take some time off. That was the first responsible thing I did. And I said, I'm going to go back when I really want it. And in spring of four, I enrolled at Florida a and University. And I've been there ever since. A total of six years. Because nobody really graduates in four years anymore. That's a myth. Um, and I'm, it's the best time I have ever 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 had um oftentimes the african-american gay community we are seen in a negative light um that you know we stunt checks and we steal identities and we buy stuff with other people's names and that and the other and then we girls get locked up i'm not calling nobody's name but you know who they are um and that's not something that we should have you know shown through society, you know, and I just think that we need to have more people, even if it's not college, even if it is, you know, a technical school or a uh, fashion merchandising school or cosmetology school or AC unit repair. All these things are important in our society. Cause don't get me wrong, baby. I love to get my nails and my feet one more pedicure. And I might go today to treat myself. So it's not that one job is better than another, but I think you need to have some type of formal training, some certificate or piece of paper with your name on it to one, validate all the hard work that you put into it, but then you can use that as a bargaining tool. When it comes down to salary, when it comes down to things that you may want to get, you know, um, company cars, company plane, you know, depending on what your field is in, you have a bargaining tool. When you don't have anything, when you don't have a degree or a certificate, you don't have a bargaining tool. And that's ultimately what the degree is. You know, they can't take away your education. They can take away your car. They can repossess everything. But they can't repossess what you know in your head. And that's the, 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 the best thing in the whole wide world. For me, I'm looking now to go to grad school. I'm moving to New York in June. Uh, between June and August in the summertime, it would be an easier move. Because right now with all the snow and the storms, we're not going to do it. Um, but please, you know, I, I encourage you, you know, it, and it's never too late. You know, I'm 30. I started back over at 24, and I was determined to get my degree. I needed my piece of paper. So it's never too late. Young, old, in between, try, by, gay, straight, none, some. You know, whatever you are, whatever you do, please get some type of formal education. It is so, so very important. Um, 
I, and I often see the lesbians going. The lesbians go a lot more than we do, but I guess they're women, and that goes to that five to one odds. But they go in, get out, do their thing, and they're successful, you know, you know, fish, lipstick lesbians, butcher lesbians, but they're powerful. You know, they're powerful anyway because they're lesbians. You know, lesbians run the world. Look at Oprah. Um, oh, I didn't say that. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, just get your piece of paper. Find something that you like and do something that you like. I was... Uh, going to be a criminal justice attorney and or well, a criminal justice lawyer, uh, criminal justice major, damn. Uh, but uh, and I wanted to go into the Air Force. I was in the Air Force R ROTC when I was in high school, and I was going to go into the Air Force and be an Air Force attorney. And I was like, well, you know, let me do something that I like. I was in the band. I was in the uh, gospel choir when I was in high school. And I love to entertain, so I switched to theater performance. My family wasn't quite too happy about that at first, but they love it now, and I love it. And this is something, even if I never get rich and famous, which I pray I do, but even if I don't, as long as I'm doing something that I love, I don't mind doing it. Because you don't want to be in a position 10 years, 20 years down the line where you have gotten this degree because your parents made you get it, or they said they weren't going to pay for your tuition unless you got it in this field. And then 20 years down the line, you're like, what the fuck? I hate going to my job. I hate working with these sorry-ass people. These people get on my nerves. This is not what I want to do. Then you have a nervous breakdown. You jump off a bridge and kill yourself. No. Do something that you love. Do something. That's why I don't get mad at prostitutes. If they love having sex, bitch, you love your fucking job, and you prostitute the best way you know how. If you love it, do it. Do it. Do it. Now, I love sex, but I'm not going to be no prostitute, honey. You know, I make videos in the privacy of my home, but I'm not going to put it on the internet. You know, you might find one or two out there that I leaked, but you'll never see my face. But that's neither here nor there. Um, but, you know, that's, you know, do something that you love. And I love, bitch, I am tossing this tassel like it's one more bob. Yeah, get into it. Ow. Yes, ma'am, this is lace front tassel. This is all the rage and patty. Get into that lace front tassel. Anyways, yeah, so that's all. Um, but yeah, let me get my shout out so my time is winding up. So please, get some type of formal education. You know, I, I love college was the best time of my life. Baby, when I tell you, Miss Florida and them does not play. They have boys out of the yin game, baby. Every year, girl, these, us old girls, like look at the boys. So they come, them freshman boys that don't know no better, honey. That's when you get them, when they freshmen, honey. When the dick be good, good and strong, they ain't fucked that yet. But anyways, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, ooh, freshmen, freshmen. Well, that, that's what I am going to miss, the freshman boys. I might be around next semester, girl, to come on in and be old dominant top or some miss a bottom or, you know, something in the way. We'll see. But anyways, let's give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to my theater department, uh, our medals when we graduate. Uh, my, five, there are six of us that graduated, myself, Lee Sebastian, Xavier, Alexander hyphen Chambers, Miss Pegan L. Knox, Mr. Kendrick R. Jones, Miss Danielle LaShawn Thompson, and Miss uh, Sierra Service, and Miss Jasmine Robinson. Those are the six of us that came out of the theater department this year. We're going to be famous. All right, the next one is my fraternity, which is Sigma Rho, or Sigma Romeo, the Fraternal Order of Classy Gentlemen, Sigma Romeo Fraternity Incorporated. It is a straight, or let's get it clear, it, this is a straight organization. It is not an auxiliary to any other organization. It is a straight organization, but I happen to be a very proud and vocal gay member. There's a difference. We're, these, these are not homos at all, A-L-L. Once again, this is the theater department. I love y'all. Dr. Matthews, Mr. Wells, Marcy Stringer, the rest of the profession, Daddy Rob. To the double C's. This is the war of world renowned FAMU Concert Choir. You know, ha ha. I love them. I love all of them. My sexual leader, Mr. Hakeem, Mr. Butler, my director. Uh, who else? Jeremy with the big booty. I can say all this because I ain't in the choir no more. Jeremy with the big booty. Taurus with the pretty eyes. Uh, who else did I want to sleep with when I was there? Well, I'm not going to, that would be a lot of tea girls because they know where I stay. But anyways, concert choir. And then last but not least, Dad Smart Inc. The Distinguished and Sophisticated Men of Royalty Incorporated. I am the Grand Basilisk, the head bitch in charge. I am over the organization for the next couple of months until we have our boule. And then they will elect someone else. So, 
Thanks for tuning in. To all the graduates out there, I love you. Good luck in your life endeavors. Keep God first. Follow me on Twitter at Sebastian Bonet or Twitter.com slash Sebastian Bonet. And other than that, that is it. Y'all be safe, be well, and be blessed. Remember, stay simply sickening like me. Bye. Oh, fuck. How you cut this goddamn thing off? Shit. <laughs>